konti na lang. Okay, so average if and average ifs, okay? So, ang ano lang natin niya is parehas lang siya dun sa sum if and count if natin. So, meron tayong condition. Okay, so this time, um, ang condition natin, let's say gusto natin makuha yung average ng cost neto sa lahat ng breaks natin. Okay? Item breaks natin. So, how are we gonna do that? Very simple. Average if. I'm not sure kung available po siya sa lower version ng ating uh, Excel. Pero, in case na hindi po gumagamit po kayo ng uh, lumang version, then, uh, FYI na lang po sa inyo ito. Kasi, I'm using Microsoft Office 365 po. Ito po yung latest version na po natin. Okay? Range. Okay, range. Ano yung range natin? Here. Parang sum if lang siya. Sa range na to ang hanapin natin is break. And then, pag na-meet niya, yeah, kukunin lang niya yung cost. And then, yun na. So, ano nangyari? Okay. Okay. Equals average if. Pala. Okay. Average if range. Ito, range natin is uh, ito. Okay. Kama. Criteria breaks. And then, average range natin. Ito. Enter. Yan. So, nakuha natin itong breaks, breaks. Tinotal niya, kinuha niya average 80. Ayan po siya. So, limit niya 80. Takto lang. Again, for tires, equals average if range comma tires comma and then and then um, and then average cost natin. So, enter. So, lahat ng tires natin, ito, 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 average po niya is 108.3. Yun. Right? Okay. So, let's try naman kung magre-refer naman tayo sa range as a specific um, cell natin like this uh, E17. Okay. So, E average if range comma and then E17 comma and then itong average cost natin so let's say palitan natin siya ng service and service automatically nakukuha na alright so reveal lang po natin yan meron na po kayong guide Alright, so average ifs. Okay, average ifs, ito yung multiple condition po natin. This time, katulad ng sum if natin, gusto natin makita yung class A and class B, class A natin na breaks, and then i-average po natin. And then, sa second naman, class B, tires naman natin, and then, yun, average. Again, multiple conditions, yeah, average ifs po yung, kukun yung gagamitin natin. Alright, what's average it's okay? What is our average range? Cost. Tama. Criteria range. Breaks. Breaks. Tama. Criteria range to A. So lahat ng breaks A natin. Bukunin niya yung cost. Alright? So, yun siya. Average sheets. Yan. Again, we can apply that one here. Class B naman po. Tires. Bukunin natin yung average cost niya. Samahan niyo po ako. Average sheets. Average range. Cost. Kama. Criteria range natin. This one, ano yung hanapin natin criteria dyan? Tires. And then here, B. Enter. 
So criteria pairs B pairs B. So meron tayong 62.5 here, 62.5. So tama lang siya. Okay, so if we're going to apply that one here, let's say ma magre-refer naman tayo sa cell instead of uh, entering that directly from our from our um formula magre-refer naman tayo sa cell E47 and F47. Okay, so are we gonna do that? Again, average ifs, then multiple condition. Okay, um, here, comma, criteria range, ay, sorry, sorry, um, tama, criteria range, and then here, E47, Kama, and then class B, Kama, F47, yan. Kailang natin. Equals average, uh, average ifs pala. Okay, average ifs, Kama, uh, range, Kama, criteria range here, Kama. Criteria, nasa cell, nasa cell F47 po tayo, F47, ah, E47, comma, here, comma, and then F47, and there you go. So, we have window A, ayan, nag-iisa lang siya, so average is 50 say um service okay so wala siyang service kaya siya nag ano nag error so you may want to add if error here you want to but we're gonna check other let's say window uh, no, no. um clutch clutch a to 50 and siya and very flexible po yung ating mga formula okay so, meron po tayong average if and average ifs for your information lang po. Alright, so...